On Tuesday, October 10th, Purcell Public Schools is calling on dragons to head to the polls. The $30 million bond issue includes a new junior high with a safe room, a renovation of the current football stadium, which includes new bleachers, new bathrooms, new concessions, and a field house and visitor seating. The bond issue also includes new band uniforms, technology, and transportation. Why a bond issue now? Purcell Junior High is outdated and unsafe in its current condition. Traffic on Green Avenue, also known as Highway 74, is extremely different than when the building was first built. So now we see children trying to, you know, risk life and limb to race across four lanes of very, very busy traffic. And, you know, right now a current concern is the construction. Now that won't be forever, but the reason the construction's happening is because we're growing and the traffic on the highway 77 will grow too. So it's a little alarming and scary as a teacher to see some of your students blazing across there with no lights. We don't have any, any way to protect them. The outdated junior high includes classroom damage from leaky roofs and no true safe room to use when tornadoes threaten the area. Whenever there's like tornadoes, we had to go all the way around to, to the locker rooms and we were all packed in there and it, was, it took a while just to get everyone down there because everyone was moving frantically and it's, it scares people because it's really not really underground. So at the end of the day, the most important thing is when people drop their kids off that they're safe in a safe environment and we want to return them safely to their parents and that's the number one goal and you know being in a large building like this that's you know sometimes where we don't have a actual storm shelter for the kids that is something that is very fearful on our end. The new junior high would be built on the campus next to the current high school. The safe room would accommodate both the junior high and high school students and staff in the event of a tornado. Additional benefits include shared resources, providing students with better quality academics and meeting demands of future generations. First off, I think it's important because it's a step in the right direction for not just people, like our future generation, like my children, maybe my nieces and nephews, my cousins, like I want them to be proud of a school that they go to that doesn't look old, like a new school that their parents are like proud to drop their kids off and be like, hey, my kid goes to the new junior high in town and it looks amazing. The current junior high would be leased out to serve as an additional source of income for the district. Well, one of the things with Purcell is that we do not have a large tax base. Our ad valorem, we don't have wind farms, we don't have oil and gas pipelines running through our district and so the revenue from these adds to our building fund and so those lease funds are important for us to be able to, whether it's do new sidewalks, redo floors, painting, fencing, you know, all those things, that revenue is really important for us to maintain our facilities. Why a bond issue now? Current band uniforms have been around for 17 years and are dry clean only. The bond issue will provide updated uniforms that are machine washable. These are made of 100% wool and uh, they do not breathe whatsoever, they are hot and with Oklahoma's weather uh, we haven't even worn them this year because it's just so hot and um, the new uniforms that are being made today in today's um, marching band world are breathable, they're washable, these are dry clean only and so that we also have to spend money um, dry cleaning on them every year. Technology is vital to a student's future and academic success. I think having a computer in classroom is a lot better than just the old books because it's just the same thing over and over again each year. We can learn different things and more information about it if we had a computer in the class. Students having a basis of technology is so important in today's society that way they are prepared for success once they get out of high school. A new football stadium includes new bleachers, bathrooms, concessions, a field house, and visitor seating. The new design also includes preserving some of the existing grass seating and incorporating it into the updated stadium. It's, it's, it's a little embarrassing from that standpoint to know that they've got better stuff than we do and we can't reciprocate the things that they can give us. That, you know, hey, we, you can use our ice machine, you can use you know, whatever you need, let us know, and we're limited on what we can do for them. And so we want to help not just football get better, we want to help all our teams get better. And to invest in that would be a good thing, I believe. 
I know that there's a lot of restraints on the schools, constraints on the budget because of what the legislature does or doesn't do and this is one way that the, the local people can help with that in our school and it makes me it makes me wish our kids had the same thing. This entire town we're, we're family, we're the dragons you know and dragons we have this thing called road week in the school it's rely on a dragon and I feel like if the community can rely on us you know just to help anywhere like anywhere in need then I feel like we should rely on them to help us out too. I feel like it's really our responsibility to invest in the children it's the right thing to do we're looking at future leaders future generations and there are there are leaders there they will come back to our communities and we want to provide them the best tools that we can. What is Dragon Pride? Well my grandpa came to high school here and so I think of how he came here and it's so cool like I can carry on that family tradition and as just of being a dragon and having those memories that you can keep with you for the rest of your life. I'm proud to be from Purcell. I'm proud to have gone to Purcell schools. When someone says where, where are you from you say Purcell, Purcell Dragon and that's Dragon Pride. Dragon Pride is just how you put yourself out there on the field or on the basketball court or on the baseball field. You're representing us. So I think Dragon Pride is just, we're just a family. Dragon Pride means to me that no matter what a person's going through their situation, knowing that they can rely on a dragon, rely on, they can rely on me to be there through whatever situation, good and bad, that I'll be there every step of the way, supporting them, encouraging them to move forward. My great great grandfather was on the first Purcell football team, the town football team. Uh, my dad played high school football here. My brother was on the state championship team here. I played football here. Uh, Dragon Pride means a lot. I, I left and moved back and brought my family back so they could graduate from here. So for me, Dragon Pride is just not something that's said. It's something I try to live every day. On Tuesday, October 10th, Purcell residents have the opportunity to help Purcell Public Schools be the best choice for students and families. And you have the opportunity to continue being a part of tradition, being a part of Dragon Pride. Because that's what dragons do, dragons take care of dragons.